Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the English real, real fast. Just kind of show you how that works. Uh, you've got different rollers depending on how much curve you're wanting in the panel. This one has a lot of curve, which I'm going to demonstrate in this video. You also have these over here. Here, you know, there's less curve where some of them is flat. And if you're wanting curve, you use a more curved one, flat to, to wrinkle out or flatten out wrinkles and things like that. You'll want a flatter one. But what this is for is you, you might need to make shapes. Uh, motorcycle tanks or fabricating rust out parts, things like that, this will come in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch this center section for now. So I'm not going to roll any around the edges. I want it to stay the same uh, thickness. So I'm going to stretch the metal in the center, which will start making it curve. And then this outside edge will stay the same. So what that will do is that will uh, result in this uh, starting to make the bowl effect. So you just get this spinning to start off with, Let's get it in there. Now I'm just going to start rolling. It doesn't have to be super tight at first, you can tighten a little bit as you go. But I'm not just going to roll in one way, notice I'm going back and forth, staying away from these edges. I'm going to go in all directions. So if you can imagine, I'm going to go this way, this way, this way. So I'm rolling it in all directions to start forming like a bowl pattern. And this is just one method. There's a lot of different ways to use an English wheel. Tighten it up a little bit. Another thing when using working to smell is always a good idea to have some gloves. Some of these edges, especially if they're got a rough cut on them, they can really be sharp. So we have a pair of gloves. But you're starting to see how there's a curve here. It's no longer flat. You keep working it, the more it's going to be curved. And uh, if you want to speed this up, you can use a, not this type of hammer, but a metal working hammer. And use a, uh, a sandbag like this, which will start shaping the metal that you're beating. So like if it's a bowl, you start hitting it, and that can speed it up. You'll shape it out some, then you'll roll and flatten it out. Come back and hit it to shape it and roll it out. And what this is for, uh, for example, say you want multiple curves, that'd be hard to do just with a you know, hammer and dolly. It's just a corner cab or something like that. This, that's not what this is, but kind of something you could build. I just did this really quick. But you know, you can start getting multiple curves going. Or, you know, like a bow. You know, if he's making a bow, you can stretch that metal. And you continually stretch it to make, you know, shapes like this. Headlight bucket or something. I don't know. There's a lot of different uses you could use for this. But it starts out just with a flat piece of metal. Hammer it out. Roll it out. And to get it smooth like this, you're going to have to use a smoother roller. I'm going to spin it to get it going. Now I'm just going to follow through with it. And notice whenever I, I'm going to go all the way through, you know, at the very end, I'm not going to lift up. I'm just going to keep that bowl following through. That will help keep the round surface now. Level all your, your wrinkles and ripples out. So. So 
So you just keep working like that. Kind of make it just really smooth, wrinkle free. But anyway, just a couple of uh, English wheel tips for you. Thanks for watching.